In this A-level IB biology video, we're going to be looking at an overview of the cell cycle, focusing in particular on the cell cycle in eukaryotes, which remember include animal and plant cells, so cells with a membrane-bound nucleus. So let's start by defining the cell cycle. So it's the sequence of events between one cell division and the next. Crucially, it has two main phases. The first phase is known as interphase, and the second is cell division, which we know is mitosis in normal body cells. So what actually happens in interphase? Well, this is a very active phase of the cell cycle, and you find that many of the metabolic reactions occur. What does that include? Well, it includes reactions of respiration, DNA replication, which remember occurs in the nucleus, and protein synthesis, which remember occurs on ribosomes in the cytoplasm. We also notice that during interphase, the numbers of mitochondria increase and they grow and divide. And if we're talking about plant cells, the same will be happening to chloroplasts. They'll increase in number in the same way. So we've said what sort of things happen during interphase, but you also need to be aware that interphase consists of three phases. So here I've listed the three phases of interphase. This is the, the first phase is the G1 phase, the second is the S phase, and the third is the G2 phase. And I've written a brief summary of what happens in each. So notice that in the G1 phase, mRNA and proteins are made. In the S phase, the genetic material in the nucleus is replicated, which remember, this is essential because during mitosis, two identical daughter cells are produced. We obviously need to make sure that there's enough genetic material for both. And then in the G2 phase, the cell simply continues to grow. So if we return to the two main phases of the cell cycle, while we've dealt with the interphase, let's talk a little bit about cell division, which I've already labelled as being mitosis. So our mitosis summary, remember I've talked about mitosis in greater detail in a different video, so all the different steps. But remember that during mitosis, the nucleus divides to form two genetically identical nuclei, and then the cytoplasm divides, this is at the end of mitosis, to form two cells in a process known as cytokinesis. All right guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I'll be back soon with another video. Don't forget to sub if you haven't already and I hope all your work's going really well.